about and my last question where we parted was that seeing this WTC final did it trigger any part of your memory any experience walking back the memory lane would you like to share with us um, I think that probably the the biggest thing it triggered was uh, we were unsuccessful uh, winning the World Cup final when I played in 2016 mm -hmm. and there were um, you know, seven of the guys uh, that lost in the final in 2019 that were there. So we never quite got over that hurdle. So I think, you know, winning the World Test Championship would have been an amazing feeling for them. Um, and, you know, I think that the way that the New Zealand cricketers carry themselves, I think, is indicative of modern day leaders. So to see that happen in sport, it's almost sort of, I think paves the way for, you know, this is the way that you, you, you can behave like this and still come first, which I think is great because not only are they champion players, but also champion people. Um, and I think that that's so important in sport. I love that. I like how you put it, you know, not just champion players, but also champion people. Now yeah. that you are also in the corporate world and you're in the business world, tell me about how are you championing people? Um, I think it's just using the same um, skills, tools, characteristics that I used in sports. And I think transferring those skills into business, I think, is, is really important because, you know, we are, we are in a high performing environment when you're playing international cricket. So there's no difference uh, between, you know, high performance sport and the corporate world. If anything, I think sports people can cope with pressure a lot better than people that are in the corporate world because we're used to pressure daily. They're different pressures, but you know the same techniques are used when you're, you're feeling that pressure. And I think ultimately, you know, for me, the, the philosophy around business is a team um, and make sure that everyone is part of that team, that they're on the bus and that they're working for each other and they're, they're quite selfless. Um, the other thing is no egos. I just, I. I don't think there's a place for egos in any team, in any business. Uh, so those sorts of philosophies going forward, I think, will help me in good stead in business. But I think that will help anyone, which is why sport is something that in the community, I think we really need to promote sport for our kids. Because if they can you know, play as much sport, and especially team sports, I think the, the stronger our communities um, and society will be. Well, excellent and noble thoughts. I hope everybody is listening and all the parents are going to be grooming their children to get them into sports of their choice, any kind of sport, right? What about, Grant, what about you? You're a family man. Do your kids uh, enjoy cricket or do they have some other preference? Um, yeah, I just encourage them whatever they want to do. You know, there's basketball, there's cricket, there's um, swimming, golf, um, you know, whatever, football. I prefer the team sports because I think that they learn about not only themselves, but they learn about interacting with everyone in their team. I think that that's so important because when you get into an office filled with people or a team of people in a, a corporate, then all of a sudden you have to be able to communicate and you have to understand the different personalities and have those difficult conversations. Um, and I think that, you know, like, they definitely learn that playing team sports or as individual sports. Um, sometimes I feel that, you know, our kids will go from school to university to work and they've only ever looked after themselves all the time. It's only their own goals where actually you have to try and motivate and inspire those people around you as well. You can't do everything by yourself. So team sports for me is a big winner. Wow, fantastic. Just in a few minutes, I've learned so many insights and I'm sure you have many key takeaways. Well, I know it's office hours in India and that's why a lot of our viewers are right now, you know, behind their desk or work from home. But Grant, I'm super excited to have an excellent conversation tomorrow morning at 11 IST. Your parting thoughts with all our viewers? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, you told me that you're really going to test me and ask me some hard questions. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and also to all those people out there that want to ask some tough questions. Um, I'm up for it. I'm looking forward to it.
Are you up for one question before we part? Because Prayank Khandelwala just put that on the screen. Thank you, Prayank. This is so enthusiastic of you on a test run. You're asking this question, and I'll request Grant to answer it. He says, in cricket, support staff plays a crucial role in the success of any team. Who are your support staff in corporate world? Wow. Oh, that is really good. Um, I think it's more people that are outside. Like I have mentors, I think, business mentors, where I'll ask their opinion on things. But ultimately, everyone within the business has a skill. It's not necessarily people that are above me, like, you know, might be the CEO or directors. But I think everyone in the office all has, um, you know, valuable contributions. And I think that, you know, everyone sort of mentors each other in different ways. Uh, so I think important to use those people around you as a, a crutch. Um, but then also people outside of that family and business mentors. If you can find a business mentor, I think that that's very valuable. How nice. I think that's a very important point to find a business mentor. And Grant, it is super, it's been a delight to have you. And thank you so much for making the time to do this test run. I think the settings now are perfect and we're going to stick to this tomorrow morning at 11. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Have a good evening. Take care, Grant. See you, Doc Steve. See ya. Bye. Okay, people, if you're getting just ex as excited as I am, trust me, you're going to be even more excited tomorrow. So if you haven't subscribed to The D Show on YouTube, this is your opportunity. I'm bringing Grant Elliott live. And Vineet Mathur just came up with a question. What is your advice to Virat Kohli after this match where he is lacking against New Zealand every time? Grant, if you are listening to this, just think of a good answer tomorrow because we are going to begin with this because Vineet Mathur is going to be happy to listen to your reply. Ladies and gentlemen, my job here is to make difficult conversations easy and not just from the world of business, but from all the industries, all the spheres of our lives. And with that endeavor, with that mission and vision, I'm going to be talking from my heart. Are you ready to listen from your heart? Trust me, you'll have many key takeaways. And these takeaways will help you in your personal and professional life to evolve, to assess, to act and be a better version of yourself. Grant Elliott is here with us with Team Tally, Team Forethought. If you would like to invite him as a corporate speaker, you know where to reach me. But get ready with your questions, DM to me, or if you want, you can ask them live tomorrow and you will get all the credits with Grant Elliott while I ask your question, 11 a.m. Saturday. Gonna make your weekend special, so stay tuned. And be happy, be safe, give your loved ones a hug and get ready with a hot cup of tea or coffee tomorrow morning at 11. Cheers.